you ever regretted missing focus on an important shot and thought it was unrecoverable, then stick around because the recently updated Topaz Labs version 3.3 might just have the solution you're looking for. The tool, which Topaz calls a breakthrough image enhancement technology, is called Super Focus and is still in beta. It utilizes generative AI to rescue blurred images, even those completely out of focus. In this video, we're going to be viewing some results, finding out whether it is indeed a breakthrough, and running through its pros and cons. But before anything else, let's run through how to use Super Focus. The first step is to open the image. As you can see, this is a badly blurred image, likely due to an inadequate shutter speed. I'll click Super Focus. That brings us to the Super Focus interface. Clicking on the main view brings up a rectangular widget, which is used to preview an area, critical to help you decide whether the results are satisfactory enough to proceed with a full image rendering enduring the long waiting time. One nice feature of Super Focus is it supports masking. You can specify the mask via the Edit Selection button. By default, the option is set to All, which masks the entire image. Alternatively, you can limit the adjustment to just the subject, sky, or even customize the mask with a brush. As I'm satisfied with the selection, I'll click Render. So that's the workflow for Super Focus. It's really easy. Next, let's run through some results. Here is the original image. Here is a comparison of Super Focus and Topaz Lab's own Sharpen AI. As you can see, a big difference. Although relying on generative AI, Super Focus retains the natural look of the original without introducing artificial looking detail. Here is another image. While Super Focus seems to work best for portraits and animals, it also does a great job for other types of objects. In this example, I'm sharpening a building. Although Super Focus added some artificial looking content, which might not be acceptable to some, the final image, to my eyes, is still more usable than the original. Here is another example. So those were the results. What are my thoughts on Super Focus? Is it a breakthrough as Topaz Labs claims? Well, in my opinion, I will say, based on the results, Super Focus is indeed a breakthrough. As far as I'm aware, there is no existing competing tool that comes remotely close to the quality produced by Super Focus in correcting out of focus, badly blurred images. But that could change in the fast paced world of photo editing. Am I glad I never deleted my blurred photos? In any case, Super Focus is a winner for Topaz Labs and another reason to fork out $200 for Photo AI. On the other hand, are there any disadvantages? Definitely yes. Its main issue is Super Focus is glacially slow. It would take 40 minutes to several hours to finish even a single 12 megapixel JPEG in my admittedly underpowered desktop. It won't even work in any Mac with an AMD GPU. You can bet it will take a lot longer with full frame raw files. In fact, the forums are filled with posts saying Super Focus is unusable for them. That being said, we have to remind ourselves that the tool is still in beta and we hope to see big improvements in processing time in the next few months. So I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know what you think of Super Focus write it down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.